Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the history and development of chemistry from Vedic age to modern age. Let us begin with science. Science is considered as the truth findings of nature, the origin of life. We can say the study of natural forces, light and sound is called science. Or the study of plants and animals or the study of rocks is also called science. But each category is separated under different names as physics, biology, geology and chemistry. These are all some of the disciplines of science. The study of natural forces, light and sound is called physics. The study of plants is called botany. Study of animals is zoology. Both botany and zoology combined together are called as biology. Study of rocks is called geology. Then, what is chemistry? Is chemistry unique among other disciplines of science? If then, why? The uniqueness is because of chemistry is the study of particles that human cannot see with naked eyes. Is it a good definition? No, it is just a simple definition. We can say chemistry is the study of structure properties and reactions of a substance or it is a study of constituents of matter. This can be much more satisfactory definitions. In our daily life, we may have noticed many common changes around us like curd formation of milk, rusting of iron. These are all because of chemical reactions. Okay. Let us begin the history and development of chemistry. Chemistry does not have an old history. Ancient Indians have good knowledge of science and its applications. Many of their knowledge is still ignorant to the modern researchers. The history of chemistry begins with alchemy and hydrochemistry during 1300 to 1600 AD. Alchemy is the ancient search for a universal panacea. Their research focuses on two interesting things. The Philosopher's Stone, which could convert the base metals into gold and the elixir of life, which could grant immortality. Alchemists spend their entire life to find the solution for it. Modern chemistry actually starts during 18th century at Europe. In the early human life, stone was the tool to collect food and weapon to defend themselves from wild animals. This period is called Stone Age. Stone Age can be divided into Paleolithic, Neolithic, Chalcolithic and Bronze Age period. The Bronze Age begins around 1800 BC to 400 BC. Vedic period also starts during this time, 1500 BC to 600 BC. It is considered as 1500 BC to 1000 BC is Rigvedic period, which includes Rigveda and 1000 BC to 600 BC is Later Vedic period, which includes Samaveda, Ajurveda, and Atharva Veda. The archaeological evidence shows that the copper metallurgy begins during Chalcolithic age. So, Chalcolithic age is also known as Copper Stone Age. During this period, man used both stone and copper tools. After some time, man learned to mix copper and tin to produce the alloy bronze, and they found it is harder than copper. This time period in which people use bronze widely is called Bronze Age. In ancient India, chemistry was called by many names as Rasatandra, Rasayan Shastra, Ras Kriya and Ras Vidya. The knowledge of metallurgy, medicine, manufacture of cosmetics, glass, dyes, etc. were developed. Archaeological findings shows that baked bricks were used in construction work and pottery production. These are considered as the early chemical processes. Glass objects were also made by South Indians during 1000 BC to 900 BC. Metal oxides were used as coloring agents during this time. According to Rigveda, tanning of leather and tying of cotton were practiced. The golden gloss of the black coat red polished ware of northern India during 1000 BC to 200 BC is still a chemical mystery. There is a good agreement between the ancient Vedic literature and the modern scientific findings. Kautilya's Arthashastra 
describes the production of salt from sea. Susruta Samhita by Susruta explains the importance of alkalis and it is one of the great Ayurvedic treatises. Another Ayurvedic epic of Charagas, the Charaga Samhita mentions the preparations of sulfuric acid, nitric acid and oxides of copper, zinc, iron and the carbonates of lead and iron. It also describes the extreme reduction of particle size. Nowadays, it is termed as nanotechnology. In 11th century AD, Rasopanishada describes the preparation of gunpowder. Shukracharya's Shukra Nidhishwara explains the recipe of gunpowder. 800 AD treatise, Rajarnava discusses the methods that metals can be identified by the flame color. It also discusses the various furnaces, ovens, and crucibles. The great metallurgist Nakarjuna's Rasaratnakar, written in 11th century AD, describes the extraction of metals like gold, silver, tin, and copper. It also mentions the formulation of mercury compounds. Chakrapani discovered mercury sulfide. He invented soap. The paintings on the walls of Ajanta and Delora is a masterpiece of ancient India. It is located near Aurangabad in the state of Maharashtra. The paintings on the walls is really amazing and it is still looking fresh after several years. The Ajanta caves were built in the period between 2nd century BC and 6th century AD. Elora caves were built in the period between 6th and 11th century AD. Varahamihis Brihasamhida, written in the 6th century AD, informs the preparation of glutinous material can be applied on the walls and roofs of houses and temples. Its ingredient is purely plant extracts like barks, fruits, leaves and seeds. It also explains about perfumes and cosmetics. Atharva Veda in 1000 BC mentions turmeric, orpiment, sunflower as dyes. Vedas and Arthashastra describes about Many types of liquors. Acharya Kanada, also named Kashyap, lived in 600 BC, was the first founder of atoms. He described very small, indivisible particles which he named Paramanu or simply Anu in his text Vaisheshika Sutras. According to him, Paramanu is eternal, spherical, indestructible, suprasensible, and can be in its original state. He also mentions Different substances have their unique atoms. He added, it can be combined each other and can make combinations like doubles or triplets and can interact with each other. He explained this theory around 2500 years before John Dalton found atom. Dalton is an English chemist, lived in 18th century AD. The introduction of Western medical system in 19th and 20th century gradually declined the traditional techniques in India. Indians adopt new techniques and foreign products. As I previously mentioned, modern chemistry started in 18th century at Europe. In 19th century, European scientists came to India and the modern chemistry of India started growing. Let us conclude the video. Atom is a fundamental particle. Atom can combine or interact with each other and can form pairs or triplets. The combinations of atoms are termed as molecules. So, chemistry is also called the science of atoms and molecules. Let us discuss more about atoms, molecules and structure of atoms in some other videos. Hope that this video is informative. Thank you.